Welcome to another episode of Lego Worlds. And in today's episode, I am very excited for two reasons. There is a new DLC coming out. Very, very soon. And there is also the challenge that is going on right now in Lego Worlds. So basically... In this episode, we are going to both talk Hello, about the world. DLC, and we Anything are going to and here you are. do You're the Le Lego out. challenge and at the same time. Adventure. Infinite worlds ahead. Infinite possibility. And one... Now, the Lego ch challenge is where you have to use the theme they give you with Whatever you want to build as a scenery. And you have to hashtag it to Lego World when done. To see if they pick your creation. So we're going to get into the game. And we are going to be working on our scenery. And hopefully... I our best to get everything lo looking presentable and see what the judges think at this point which I can't wait to do this challenge this ch ch challenge is going to be fun to do I have ideas I want to try they didn't say we couldn't mix things up they didn't say hey, what we could do but for right now I will be concentrating on the space portion of my theme. And today they released information about a new DLC coming out. I can't wait to talk about it. I am so excited. And I loved the theme of the DLC. I saw what one of the characters are in the DLC. And I am just very excited to get this DLC. I can't wait for it. I wish it was here now. <laughs> but yeah, it's a waiting game. It's fine. In the meantime, I'm hoping they will have showcases while I am waiting for for the DLC to come out that way I have more stuff to explore and see I know I still have a couple of things I have to do in the game as well but that's the whole idea of the game is to explore discover and build and very hard to discover things when you get down to the wire and have just about everything in the game. But it's still fun because they added new stuff. So now we're in our game. I'm going to be flattening this out because it, I didn't like the way this ca came out. I mean, I'm still working on it. So... I'm flattening the terrain out so I can add more of what I think should be here or get an idea how I want things to be. This was just testing it. And I didn't like the way it turned out. So while this is flattening, I like to go ahead and talk about the DLC. That's coming out. All I'm going to say at this point before we get into to it is that it is really an interesting DLC. I wasn't expecting them to say, well, we're going to do this DLC or there's no one coming this fast. But I'm excited for it, so yeah, I'm happy see what we saw. So here is the screenshot that was shown to us with a new DLC. 
So as you can see, it says Monster DLC coming October 2017. Buy on Switch and get Classic Space and Monster DLC free. And as you can see, it is a Heckle and Hyde figurine. It's half monster, half human. I like the hat. It's a hat we don't have. The outfit is pretty neat. You don't have this outfit. It has a potion, so you know it's going to be Jekyll and Hyde. And the DLC will be three ninety nine when it is released. And I cannot wait to see if we get a laboratory or a mansion or maybe vehicles and what builds we can come up with this DLC. It is a very exciting time, especially for me, because <laughs> one of my favorite ho holidays is Halloween. So you know I am definitely going to be playing the new Monster DLC. Not only I will be playing it on release day, but I will be using it for Halloween. So I can't wait. And I'm wondering what other minifigures we're going to get, or if they're going to show us any other minifigures, vehicles, or maybe even the lab equipment for where that potion has came from. But they did show us that minifigure, and that minifigure will probably be in the DLC when it comes out. And then I was th thinking maybe I can build a laboratory where I can probably turn myself into a werewolf by drinking a potion, or the ideas are endless at this point. So yeah, the Monster DLC comes in October. And it's going to be $3.99. It's an unpaid DLC. So, I'm s sort of excited for it. And the reason I'm excited for it is because of the theme. And I hope they show us more before the DLC comes out. Or gives us a little hint what's entailed in this DLC. Besides that one figurine with the potion. And while I'm wait waiting for the DLC to come out, I'm hoping we'll have more showcases to show you guys. And hopefully, leading up to October's DLC. I was surprised this was announced today about the DLC. I was not expecting that. So, I'm very excited to be surprised about it. But at the same time, I'm d doing this for the news aspect. I'm also d doing my uh, moon challenge. Which, everybody is allowed to attend this little competition. And hashtag it to LEGO Worlds when done. And they will be selecting pe pe certain people's scenery, I guess, to uh, sh showcase or something like that. I never done this before, so I'm going to be entering this challenge. This is going to be fun for me. I'm going to see what I can come up with. Right now, I'm working on my sp space th base theme here. And then I will be adding in other themes. I want to make it different, but I'm not sure how I'm going to go about doing it yet. Plus, I want to get things look accurate. I know it ain't going to be per perfect because to me, this might be a little um, glitchy when putting stuff down. 
Even though I know I ha had it lined up right. I think something changed in um, the pl placement of placing things. So yeah, right now I'm just putting down my uh, space bases and I'm going to be putting down my roads. And the idea of d building a sp space team first is because I want it to be like, oh, you l l landed on the moon, right? But what else would you find on the moon that normally wouldn't be there that would make you very excited to come to the moon? I know everybody's going to say cheese, because that's a common phrase that everyone usually says, but no, it's not cheese. Not, not this time. Though everyone used to say that the moon is made of cheese, yes. I remember that. <laughs> Except this moon's not made of cheese, this moon is actually made of Legos. <laughs> So as I'm build, building this, I'm still having the froggiest idea of what I'm doing for the other parts yet. This is my f first time doing a building challenge. This is the first time using Legos to do a building cha challenge. And all they want you to do is a scenery. I'm going to do a little bit more than just scenery. I'm going to do a little bit different things. I'm not sure if I'm going to do custom build for this yet or not. I want to, and then I'm a little skeptical on what I want to build. But we'll, we'll see where I go with it. I mean, it's just for fun. And I like trying to do cha challenges. It gives me something to do. And seeing that this is the first challenge for consoles, because I heard they had challenges already for the PC version in the um, well, early access phase. So this is the first cha challenge for consoles. So yeah, I'm very excited that this is our first challenge. I wasn't expecting something like this to pop up. I know they have the community event going on, which is basically you can they w want you to play Legos Space DLC for the e event, but the I thought it was a different type of event. Wasn't sure what type of event it was at the time, and it's still going on. So, oh, it's interesting. So, if you just want to play space and do the mini event, just play the space DLC. That's fine. If you want to do the challenge like I'm doing, and be doing the community event at the same time, that's fine too. It's pretty much the same thing, the way I look at it. So, yeah, they want us to use our creativity. And the reason I'm at the hot air balloon is because I'm selling my wares, trying to get as many studs as I can. Just in case I gotta buy things, or if I want to try and go for that trophy, which is the billionaire trophy, which I am still working on all the trophies. I haven't done the most of the trophies yet because I look at trophies more of achievement rather than part of the game, and I rather play the game than collect trophies. To be to be to, to be honest, tro trophies 
is just there as achievements and to me they're not really needed in the game they're just something extra you can do in the game because I remember when games came out and there was no trophy system there was no achievements it was just oh we wanted to play the game to get to the end of the level see what happens next if there was an ending there was an ending. If there was an ending, it just constantly kept going. And those were back in the day. And now games have multiple endings, multiple challenges, multiple unlockables, DLC, mods. Who knows what other stuff they added to games lately. I'm sorry I'm off, <laughs> a little off topic and going into my childhood here. I guess it's a good thing to go sometimes into your childhood once in a while. So yeah, you can see I got the Space Pugsy. I'm so excited I got the Space Pugsy. I'm happy that I got it. I want to use that, hopefully, in incorporating into my building scheme. Here, I'm just laying down some vehicles. And, well, y y you know me, me. You know, you, after you don't know me, but I went into the vehicle not thinking, y you know, and I decided, let's hit the function button on this vehicle, just curious. Yeah, okay, that was a smart idea. <laughs> Rocket goes up, but comes down and leaves a crater in my road that I was building. <laughs> well, that was not a smart idea. So I tried patching it up. So yeah, this is what I have so far. I have nothing for the middle of the two roads yet. I don't know what I'm going to put there. And I'm still trying to patch my road up. Which is interesting because when I put the road down it was one looked one way and then somehow it looks different. So I don't know what's going on there. If that's a glitch or... Because I flattened, and I didn't really flatten the r road. I only flattened part of the road, and it like made the picture bigger on the road, which is interesting. So this is all the news I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit those like buttons. The higher the like button tells me what type of content you want to see. It also te tells me that you guys like the video. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, I will be happy to answer them in the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next LEGO World episode. And hopefully we will have more news to come and more showcases to show.